Every kind of job has a downside, no matter how much you love it. When it comes to sports reporters, one of the worst parts of the role is reporting live, especially when there's people around who at any moment could decide to photobomb you. In July 2014, Australian journalist Julian De Stoop had just that kind of experience while reporting live out front the headquarters of the Australian Football League club, the Collingwood Magpies. Heard he's here. He's on with the Larry Trophy, Larry O'Brien. Get off, boys. Yeah, yeah get off. Uh, and so he's uh, had a heel problem as well, uh, Dane Swan. There's always some idiots uh, down here. From De Stoop's perspective, the two people who interrupted him were just obnoxious hecklers. However, for basketball fans, the two photobombers were instantly recognizable as the newly crowned NBA champions of the Spurs, Patty Mills and Aaron Baines. For the 13-14 season, San Antonio's roster was made up of a number of international players, many who had underwent long, arduous journeys to get to the league. For Mills, he was lucky to even get the chance to prove himself after being taken with the 55th pick in the 2009 draft by the Blazers. Though, it wouldn't be until he arrived in San Antonio in March 2012 that he had realized his potential as a crucial role player for the Spurs. Likewise, Bain's journey to the NBA was difficult. After being left unselected in the 2009 draft, he played internationally before finally finding a home in the NBA in San Antonio, serving as a blue-collar role player off the bench. There he is, coming from the weak side with a big block at the rim. Outstanding. Given all the international players on the 13-14 Spurs roster, the team decided that the Larry O'Brien Trophy should embark on a world tour, allowing each former member of the team to take the championship trophy with them to their respective homelands to celebrate with their family, friends, and fans. And during the tour, the trophy went down under with Mills and Baines. One day, while there, the two players got stuck in traffic, which is when they saw Stoop reporting live. They'd thought that, as a sports journalist, Stoop would not only recognize the two of them, but that he would also appreciate the random appearance by two NBA champions. However, even though recognizing athletes was a fundamental part of his job, Stoop had no idea who Mills or Baines were. And in his frustration, he shoved Mills in his recently surgically repaired arm, potentially causing serious damage to someone who just signed a multi-million dollar contract. Fortunately for Mills, his arm was fine, sparing him the awkward conversation with his team in which he would have had to explain that he injured his arm while photobombing. For his part, Stoop later tried to explain himself, stating that he'd been too fixated on his report to pay attention to his surroundings, which is why he didn't recognize the two NBA champions behind him. I had no idea uh, it was him. I just thought it was another couple of Collingwood Nuffies uh, doing their thing.